In this video, we're going to take a look at a third use of the present value function, and that is to figure out how much lottery payments would be worth today. Okay. And if you've ever paid any attention to the lottery, you know that if somebody wins $100 million in the lottery, they don't get $100 million today. They get that spread out over, depending on the lottery, you know, maybe 20 or 25 or 30 years. So let's say they won $20 million, it's paid out over 20 years. Well, that's a million a year for 20 years. But they almost always give you the option of a collecting a lump sum right now. Well, they're not going to give you $20 million right now. Uh, they're going to give you what they think would 20 million 20 years from now would be worth today, accounting for inflation. So uh, they take that inflation factor and um, and work that in and figure out you know what kind of what they think a reasonable interest rate would be for you to earn on your money, and that's what they give you. So you know if they give you 10 million instead of 20. That means they're figuring that if you took the 10 million and you invested it at a reasonable interest rate um, for 20 years, uh, you would end up with the 20 million that you won in the first place. Okay, so that's that's the parameters of the lottery problem, and um, this is something you probably will not have to compute very often. Um, but let's go ahead and work our way through it. So. Uh, you have won a $20,000, I'm sorry, $20 million lottery, which will be paid off at $1 million a year for 20 years. Uh, so we know it's going to be 20 years. So let's put in a 20 up there. And uh, the payments per year on, are usually per year on this. So the period is going to be one. And um, so what yeah, we think we could invest the money at 6.00%. And uh, what we want to know is how much would we have to begin with and withdraw one million every year, just as though we were getting the payments, um, and still get a million every year for 20 years. And we'd obviously then at the end of the 20 years, you would clean out. There would be exactly one million dollars left in the account, and you'd pull that out and you'd be just as well off as if you had taken a million dollars a year for 20 years. So uh, we're trying to find the present value, so let's gray that one out, and we'll put the formula down here. Uh, the withdrawal is we're going to withdraw one million every year. So periods per year is one, years is 20, annual interest rate is six. And down here, this is the first example I've done where uh, we haven't done monthly uh, payments, it's uh, annual payments instead. So in this case, uh, these two numbers and these two numbers are exactly the same, uh, but we still want to use these two values here just in case these numbers up here would change in some you know, future problem that we're trying to solve. And uh, we would obviously have to take the money at the beginning of every year, so we need to put a one in there. Okay, so what we're saying is we're going to withdraw a million every year at the beginning of the year for 20 years. Um, what is left in there will earn 6% interest and then at the beginning of the second year we'll pull out another million and what's left will earn 6% interest and and so on. And at the end of the 20 years our last uh, withdrawal should have a balance of a million and we'll clean it out. So I want to know the present value of that. So let's go to our formulas tab and let's do the present value one more time, PV. And the rate is the rate per period. The number of periods is the NPER over here, it's 20. The payment is always negative, remember, so put a minus sign and then a million, click on the million. And the future value is going to be. Um, that number there, I forgot to put a zero in, but it's blank, so it'll be I'll treat it as a zero. And the type is going to be this, okay? And so let's click on OK. And just to make this look like it's correct, I'm going to put a zero in there, okay? So what this means is that if you want a lottery for $20 million to be paid out at a million dollars a year for 20 years, and um, they assume that you could earn 6% interest on it then what they would offer you as a lump sum would be 12 million. 
$158,116.49. And so you take a million out of that, and you got 11 million something in the bank. You earn 6% on that for the first year. You pull out a million. You earn 6% on that the next year. You pull out a million. And by the time you get to your 20th withdrawal, the amount that's in the um, account should be exactly 1 million. You pull it out, and you're down to zero. Okay? And like all of the other problems we've done, you can just change the numbers here and we have solved every single um, present value problem for a lottery that you can think of all you have to do is go in here and change the numbers and that's because when we did this over here uh, we used cell references we didn't build any numbers into our formulas Okay. in the next video we'll take a look at the rate function in a